Ei, balone ce? Ei, napa. Nou, dat past ook niet echt heel lekker en jong. Oh. Alles is vol met lucht. Hij lijkt wel een hengst. Kijk die schouders. Important. It's absolutely not a normal horse, so it's maybe more difficult to understand also for you. But mm -hmm. here we are really in the throat, mm -hmm. and with you, you have to focus there. It's the hole where he should breathe through, through the trachea, and you see that this is so swollen that it comes and almost close this uh, opening to breathe mm -hmm. when he's breathing. Okay, we mm -hmm. can see the air should go there. Mm -hmm. And every time it's so swollen that okay there is aspiration and resistance mm -hmm. because of the swallowing. So normally we should have something that is really open, uh, open like this. Mm -hmm. This is well open and this is completely open. Yes. So that's not normal. That's the first thing that we have. Um, it's also increase this resistance because the horse is sedated. But you see, it's really, really swollen. Normally, yes. it's really like this. Okay. It's all the emphysema also everywhere. Yes. And then we went uh, into what we call the guttural pouches. So it's two bags that are around the throat. We will How do you call it? Eh? Uh, uh, guttural pouches. Yes. So we we go from there. And now we are already inside, and it's two bags around the throat yes. uh, that we can see. Um, and it's bags with a lot of nerves, blood vessels, and also where we can have a lot of infection. So that's why uh, we always check there. Mm -hmm. It's also quite swollen, and we see that we have a, an hematoma over here. So probably with the inflammation, a small blood vessel um, uh, is just a rupture, but it's a small one, but we can see the blood mm -hmm. over here. So we just check here. And then we checked the other one that was not really the same presentation, much more uh, emphysema even. We are again in the throat and then we go in the other guttural pouches with a big bowl of emphysema. So this is Emphysema also. Yes. It's really full with air. It's much more than in the other side. And can the air not uh, damage something? Like it no. bursts, like a balloon that not bursts? Not really. The, the risk is that if it's there, and you see there is also an hematoma over here. Yeah. Uh, and the risk is that sometimes it can get infected. That's the risk. The risk um, actually. Yes. Then we went really in the trachea to find this hole. Yes. But we couldn't find it. It was uh, absolutely normal. This is the bifurcation between the two lungs. Yes. It's also swollen here. Normally it should be really thin. Uh -huh. um, but it's again with the emphysema. So it's not only the emphysema, not only between uh, the skin and the it's muscles. It's really inside as well. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It's because, how to say, you have the two lungs and yeah. in between you have the heart, you have the trachea, you have the esophagus, everything goes through and then air can just go all around the layers as well. Yeah.
but sometimes the hole is so small that we don't see it like with the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, here that was basically this. Then we went through the nose, and then that's where we see that the uh, left nose was really small because we couldn't really pass by the, the normal way. This is the left nose. This was the left nose. And then we went through the stomach. We are now in the stomach. Oh, okay, to the stomach. Is because fine. this um, duct, the esophagus, can yeah. also have a hole that can create the, this emphysema. So we checked everything actually. But here as well. Um, what we is this? What we are seeing here? Uh, Esophagus, a uh, slot oh, there. Okay, yeah. Um, it's a bit different because it's contracting. Uh, it's not so rigid as the trachea, and this yes can be also. Um, Is it swollen too? Yeah, and this we didn't find also the whole uh, needle. We really stop everything, but there is nothing. Okay. So I will show you now the X-rays and the other um, computer. Mm -hmm. It's not a normal horse, so it's difficult maybe for you to compare, but we took x-rays from the nose, uh, really until the lungs, here nothing really to say, but from here, this is the head, I would say nothing really to explain, I will take a good one to explain. So yes, normally all the thin line that you see like this, mm -hmm. it's air that is absolutely everywhere. So it's really difficult to interpret the images mm -hmm. um, because normally you should have, you know, this gray and then you see that there is um, black air lines everywhere. So here, this is the trachea, just where we looked before, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. can see that all around you have these black uh, lines. Yeah, yes. so it means that it's really deep. Mm -hmm. um, then as soon as we go even more deep, it's just uh, continuing. Also here again, now we are almost really in the chest. Mm -hmm. So we were following it. We are now in the chest and the thing now we have also um, air over here. So it means that even in the lungs, we have this problem. Okay. And most important, now we are really at the level of the lungs. Um, this is actually the heart, but we have two strange, strange things, but it's really difficult to um, interpret with the air. We have this round shape and we have also this line and actually, um, how can I say it simply? We have like layers between the lungs that is called the uh, mediastinum. It's like, like a layer just to cover the lungs, mm -hmm. between the lungs and the cavity. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a space there and uh, here we have like a mass effect. We don't know what is it, it's really strange. And we have also a shape of like abscess-like lesion. So it's really strange. Uh, it's something that is not really um, seen often, um, but we have this and we see it on each images that we took from this part, so air everywhere. And again here. This is the other part of the lens. Here as well. Try to find a good one. Yeah, this one. So you can see that there is a line here. Mm -hmm. And it's a line between liquid and gas. And it's typical from abscess. Mm -hmm. But now why there is an abscess there, that's the question. And is it the abscess in the lung? Or I we are, or it's really in, or it's really between the two lungs in this layer that's called mediastinum. Yeah. And the question is, so now we are, yeah, because we found this, but we have to think, okay, what's the relationship with this emphysema everywhere? Yes. So we have three causes that we think that's possible. So, or we have this small hole in the trachea and we just don't see it. Can, can I film you too? No, or not? Y yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, or we have um, this small hole in the trachea and then it creates the mediastinum, but we don't see it, but that is often the case because it's so small. Or we have the hole in the esophagus and then we can have a bit of food that just run out the esophagus and create mm -hmm. this abscesses mm -hmm. and then create also the mediastinum. Or we have 
a pneumonia that is like really acute pneumonia mm -hmm. um, with an abscess that can also release the gas and make this emphysema. So we have three Options. possibilities and we don't know actually. Um, we don't know because I cannot, for example, do an ultrasound of the lungs because uh, of with all the gas. Yeah, I don't see, I don't anything. see anything. No. Um, so yes, we have, I mean, ideas, but anyway, we think that in the management, it would be really no exercise at all, really, and I know that it's difficult, but no exercise because as much as he's moving, we have more air, yes. antibiotics and anti-inflammatories, and yes, see a bit what's going on. So we Sorry, and the last? And then see how he's oh, going, see how he's going yes. for sure, it's going to take weeks to resolve but it should not like be worse 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 and worse we mm -hmm. should see that with the treatment that we start should be at least stable okay at least stable mm -hmm. and we have the two options i mean i think that yeah giving antibiotics probably you can do it at home i don't yes. know it's a bit as you really as you wish mm -hmm. um the only point is if we want to do control we need to do x-rays but then it cannot be transported because then it can reactivate, you know, the process. So it's a bit difficult anyway um, to choose. I would redo probably uh, if we see that it's not going better X-rays. But if not, then it's better not to move the horse back here, you know, to take the X-rays. So we have to see. But I will also at least probably start for a two weeks treatment mm -hmm. and see. Yeah, yeah. So and two see. weeks treatment yeah. at home. Then, oh, as you and. really depends. Uh, I mean, for mm -hmm. sure, it's something strange. So yeah. I prefer to have a look at it. But also, I understand that if we are just giving medication, it's not that you can do it at home. Mm -hmm. So it's really as you prefer. And I, I don't know if yeah, if maybe if there, is, there is less emphysema, we can just repeat to see if we have better definition as well. Mm -hmm. But okay. So maybe then come back in two weeks then. But or the point, if he's better, I would prefer that you call me. Yes. Before taking the route, because then we, Ali, if we move him then with the transport, yes. and then it's going to start again. Okay. You see? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Bit, uh, yeah.